Today is Friday, February 26th, and I'm Derek O'Shea, and this is your One Minute News. We bombed Syria last night. Did it, did it, did it, killing 22. <laughs> Biden is back and the war machine in full strength as Raytheon rigs in new huge deals. Jen Pansky and Biden both had tweets slamming Trump's Middle East strikes. Oh, how the turntables. <laughs> Bernie Sanders, if you don't know that office quote, then you're not my friend. Bernie Sanders wants to remove tax deductions of large companies that don't pay at least $15 an hour. Pelosi is vowing that $15 minimum wage in, COVID, in the COVID relief bill, in quotations, so much relief for you and me, not about anything else than just getting relief to the citizens. Pelosi is vowing the $15 minimum wage to cover the relief bill, even though the Senate ruled it, making in it ineligible. So, how is she going to do it? Ah, oh, wait, she's just stirring up her base. Julia Roberts gives the Courage Award to the time and true and tested Dr. Fauci. What is so courageous about what Dr. Fauci did? Please tell me in the comments below, because I can't figure it out. The media celebrates him, liberals love him, actors love him, and they even got Brad Pitt to play him on SNL. The guy's flip-flop more than... <laughs> I'm just going to stop. Yesterday, a reporter... <laughs> I almost went... Totally inappropriate there, sorry. Yesterday, a reporter asked Biden about the $2,000 checks he was promised the American citizens. Then a Biden staffer ran out saying, it's time to go. You're not getting two grand, and if you do, I don't know. Trump is looking at this going, the guy's not even doing, making it too hard for me. It's ridiculous. <sighs> Mitch McConnell said he would support Trump if he was the nominee. <laughs> that guy, that guy is also a good old flip flop. A new study is saying social media users have thinking patterns like lab rats who are seeking food. Hmm. Oh, the irony. That being said, if you guys are watching this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe because <laughs> Daddy needs some food. Texas woman files $1 billion lawsuit against Texas power firm after a $9,000 bill. A billion dollar lawsuit. Good for you, girlfriend. Go for it. Just put whatever number on this check you want. COVID hospitalization is at its lowest point since November, but we're not supposed to celebrate these things because we're in a pandemic. And nursing home deaths plummet 75% since December. Uh, keep the schools closed for their safety. Uh, Mr. Potato Head is now just Potato Head. <laughs> God, I cannot stand woke culture. It just drives me ins Mr. Potato Head, hilarious name. It's great. And why should that offend anyone? Who cares? You can have a, whatever the Potato Head added. You don't need to take away Mr. Potato I mean... I think Miss Potato Head, I think Don Rickles, I mean, Toy Story, come on. Don Rickles would have field day on the world culture. And today in history, in 1929, the Grand Teton National Park is established. <laughs> Gotta love those Grand Tetons. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Enjoy your Friday. It's Friday. I have a little bonus episode coming out later today, uh, just diagnosing the week. I um, hope you guys enjoy your day. Uh, CPAC is today. I might do a live stream with it. I don't know. I don't. I none of the speakers excite me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> except for Sunday when Papa Bear comes down and speaks. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Uh, enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Try to remember that the news media is just trying to control you and make you hysterical and that people like me, independent news people, will hopefully just bring you back down to the ground. Um, unless what I say offends you, and I don't care. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Enjoy your day. Uh, see you on Monday or see you for the bonus episode for those who care. And... I'm going to continue to try to do some live streams, so look out for that. 
Uh, I'm just getting my Instagram live stream set up with it and YouTube and all that stuff. Have a great day. Enjoy your day. Thank you.